So the, you don't, you're not looking at a laminate. A laminate it basically prints a, it's like a business card stock and then laminates it. It's a two-process thing. This machine, actually, you buy the cards. The cards are only two bucks a piece. And you send them through the machine and the card comes out all printed out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of the other problems is if you're getting them from multiple sources, that, that opens doors for um, counterfeiting and uh, you, don't, you really don't know what you're controlling. Absolutely. Um, I know when I was at Kingsbury, they actually went through an incident where because they had cards from two different ID cards from two different eras, when there was someone in the building photographing equipment and it wasn't supposed to be there. And we didn't know. This was a former employee from years ago. And uh, because of the old ID cards. So that caused a little bit of a stir. What about uh, generators and sump pumps? Well, we use those for when the basements are flooded and stuff during the storms. Okay. Uh, we are these replacements or new units or new units. in addition to? New units in addition to what we have. There's only a couple of brush truck. In a typical storm, in the, especially in April, that could be gone. You might have three, four calls lined up because it's got a, with only a couple sub pumps, you go to one place, pump that one, go to the next place, pump that one, where it is. And the generators that we have are fixed on the, on the apparatus. So, you're kind of stuck with the apparatus there. If we had portable generators, small, 5,000 watt, you can plug that in, you go. The other thing for the generators is during things like the ice storm, when we have outages, like we had an outage this week here, we had some serious problems with some heat. We can shelter in place. If we can get some people, volunteer base or either even fire department, you get them around, you train them how to jump start a, a boiler, heat the house up to 80 degrees. Move to the next house. Mm -hmm. Move to the next house. Now you can shelter people in place because you're going to have a system where they just go around. But you need the equipment to be able to do it. With. Right. I mean, we spent nine months, if I remember correctly, on that emergency management um, committee and putting together that report for FEMA. And we attached, we prioritized the list of needs for the town. And if I remember correctly, I think there was, if, if we could have <coughs> put a, a dollar figure on everything we needed to make the town ready and set for any emergency that we had identified with <coughs> that plan. It had something like a $100,000 price tag on it. Absolutely. And we said, okay, we're going to take $5,000 chunks and try to get us in tiny baby step increments to the, play, to the point where we're ready to deal with any emergency that God or man can put in our path. And last winter, we saw what God put us in our path. And, you know, it, when, when people say, you know, you should learn from your mistakes, we did. And, and at this, this dollar figure represents what we learned. And what we learned our weaknesses were, and what we learned we need to do in order to not fall into the pitfalls that we fell into last December. Um, you know, we... we not changing the things that we've learned we need to change puts us back in, into the same level of ignorance that we were a year ago. So I, to me, this is one of the most necessary pieces of this budget. Because when people go down roads and there's no barricades, when there's no ability to communicate within the town, all those things that we saw last December, this is just a drop in the bucket towards rectifying that. So. Well, there's other things. Very like, really important. If we go to the top of that whole the whole thing, you, you see you got some call wages in there. Typically, we open the EOC four to six times a year. On the average, four times a year we open the EOC. Storm watch may not be a, a state emergency, but storm, like this weekend. If this snow's coming in the way it's going to, they're saying it is, that EOC will be open Saturday and Sunday. The fire department has been footing the bill for the EOC, which is really emergency management. So on that other side, you see my overtime, my, I mean, not my overtime, my call wage on that goes over budget. But also <coughs> look in that on how much of that money also has been funded, funding the emergency management department right. mm -hmm. for the people to be on standby or to be ready and get things prepared to, to whatever it may be, right. you know, walking roads, um, chasing down trees and wires down, the, the whole nine yards, yeah, checking door checks. Um, there are times when we do that, it was just a couple weeks ago, Forest Road, I was 
I didn't call in everybody. I did it myself, but I was keeping an eye on Forestall Road, which was down them in the trailer park. Yep. So it was down for a couple hours, but you don't know how long they're going to be down. But you got we still have an obligation to make sure these people are okay. And so that's why that's it. And then you get your FICU your Medicare, that all is, that's all relative. Actually, I, I just want to point out that on my summary sheet, that did not get included because those are new line items that we never had before. Bringing it out for emergency FICU. management oh. wages, FICU Medicare, that's a whole new, that would need to get added to the spreadsheet. Okay. The other piece is, is EMD planning. If you notice, that there's been never been no money funding, no funding, zero funding for any type of emergency management plan. So I did for 500. This Deb and I alone been to how many four four training sessions already on that on on emergency management. Yeah. Um, we're we're in management of EOCs, how to manage resources and things like that. But there's no money, and, and I. There should be money in planning. We have we have the emergency medication plan. We have the emergency response plan. We need to maintain those. It's going to take a little bit of something.